Travel health relates to your health before you travel, when you travel and when you come back. We're not only talking about falling ill or being unwell during your journey, but we're also talking about uh, avoiding circumstances that lead you to become ill or avoiding circumstances that you know, make you uh, put you in uh, situations where your health is at risk. And we're also talking about health of those who are at risk, at higher risk of getting, of being unwell during journey. So we're talking about pregnant women, we're talking about children, we're talking about those who have underlying conditions. So there's a big aspect of it, just with not the, the usual illnesses during your journeys, such as, you know, your malaria or your diarrheal illnesses, but also understanding who is at risk of falling ill and how do we prevent those illnesses. The most common risks or common uh, illnesses that happen during travel depends on where you're traveling to. Uh, we know that there are certain areas that are epidemic or have increased risk of malaria. So when you're traveling to a malaria endemic region, we will advise you that these are the precautions or these are the things that you will be likely facing when you go to a malaria area. But we know in addition to that, there are also other illnesses that occur in those regions. For example, dengue also occurs where malaria also occurs because of the mosquitoes that are seen there. And then um, if you travel to certain parts of the world, such as Asia or South Asia, there's increased risk of uh, football illnesses or waterborne illnesses such as typhoid, cholera, where you need to take extra precaution uh, to avoid those situations. And then there are also other illnesses that come because of travel to, for example, altitude, high altitude, you can get altitude sickness. Or if you are traveling to areas where there's fresh water, uh, swimming in fresh water is associated with fresh water illnesses such as schistosomiasis, what we call bilhazia, or leptospirosis. Also because of the insects that live around that area, we, are also, we can also get insect-borne illnesses. Travelers might not have all the information that they need before they travel, and especially when they're looking at uh, traveling to exotic locations or locations they've never been to before, the risks are quite different. Uh, generally, we advise that book an appointment with a travel health specialist, uh, come to our clinics. We, can, uh, we will be able to uh, you know, break down your risks in terms of uh, what are the risks during travel, as you travel by plane, by car, by road, by train, what are the risks that you should worry about, what are the risks that will happen when you go to those sites in terms of the activities that you will engage in, in terms of the food exposure that you will have in, in terms of what is the water that you're drinking, and then um, also in terms of, you know, sometimes sexual health uh, risks that come with that and what sexually transmitted in infections can occur when you travel. And then, you know, what are the insects, what are the common diseases that occur in that setting, outbreaks that are common in that region. We can, you know, as travel health specialists, we can break it down for you. We can give you the information that you need before you travel. What should you do when you're there? And then also what are the things to watch out for when you come back?